Irish wolfhound ears are small, pointed and folded back against the head, except when alerted by a sound or scent. The body is muscular and deep-chested, but the tail is relatively short for a hound, reaching only about the hawk. The coat is rough and hard, wiry on the head, legs and tail, and softer on the body. Before we begin this guide, let us welcome you back, smart dog lovers. This one is on Irish wolfhounds and everything you need to know about them. Let's go. History. The Irish wolfhound dog breed was originally used in war to drag men off horses and chariots. This breed is one of the oldest breeds in existence. Its origins are lost in the midst of time, but it's believed the first specimens were brought to Ireland from Greece more than 2,000 years ago. The dogs were used by the kings of Ireland in hunting and guarding. With the development of warfare, their size made them ideal for charging enemy lines and dragging men off horses. They also were used for hunting wolves, hence their name. They're mentioned in literature as early as 391 AD when Roman consul Quintus Aurelius Symmachus wrote to a friend that he was sending seven hounds of singular beauty from Ireland as a gift. The friend replied that he would rather have had seven Irish slaves, for they say they will not stay long with you unless they are chained. Other names The Irish wolfhound has existed since pre-Christian times in Ireland as his name implies. There have been references to this breed in both Celtic and Irish mythology, indicating that they were known or even revered by their ancient people. They were traditionally owned only by royalty until they were given as gifts to reward loyalty during the Middle Ages. As befits its name, it was also used for centuries to hunt wolves in Ireland. It has also been used historically to hunt elk, deer, and wild boar. Size Irish wolfhounds are the tallest of dogs already, but not the tallest. Their height at the shoulder is typically between 32 and 36 inches for males and 30 to 34 inches for females. The weight of an Irish wolfhound is typically between 105 and 130 pounds for males and 90 to 115 pounds for females. In general, the breed is divided into three weight classes, less than 120 pounds, 100 120 pounds to 160 pounds and more than 160 pounds. Females tend to be a little bit smaller and lighter in build than males, but because this breed grows so quickly and changes shapes as it matures, it's hard to tell what size an Irish wolfhound puppy will be when it's fully grown just by looking at it. The size listed in the puppy pedigree is a better indicator of its eventual size than its current weight or even its current height. Wolfhound are often mistaken for Great Danes, but there are some important differences between the two breeds. Great Danes tend to be taller than wolfhounds with longer legs, but not as long bodies as wolfhounds. Great Danes are also heavier than wolfhounds, sometimes weighing up to 200 pounds. Most Irish wolfhounds don't reach that weight until they're close to two years old or older. Personality Irish wolfhound dogs have an unusual personality trait that makes them extremely easy to train. It's called opposable thumbs. In all seriousness, they are not very susceptible to training. Though they're quite intelligent, they are such independent and strong-willed creatures that they'll have no interest in being told what to do by a human. This is why this dog has never been one of the more popular dog breeds among households with children who love to train their pets to do tricks. The Irish Wolfhound Dog is a creature of a refined taste and highly developed social skills. He is best suited for households where he can be treated as a valued member of the family and where there are no small children or other animals for him to bully. Pet compatibility. Moving on to pet compatibility. This is a huge and powerful dog, bred for strength, endurance, and speed. So you will need to be at least as strong, enduring, and 
fast as your pet to take it out for walk, let alone go running with it. If you're considering adding an Irish Wolfhound to your family, remember this dog breed gets very attached to his pet parents quickly and does not adapt well to change. This means it would be best if you own your home before getting an Irish Wolfhound since moving homes can be stressful for them. Temperament the Irish Wolfhound is a very loving, loyal, and intelligent breed. They are also very brave and fearless when it comes to protecting their owners. They are friendly with strangers in a way, but will alert their owners if a stranger seems suspicious. It's also important that this dog receives socialization training from an early age to prevent shyness or fearfulness from developing. It's also important that their owner is consistent in their training, as they can be stubborn at times. This wolfhound has a tendency to be very independent-minded at times and will not always obey commands when they feel like it. They don't bark much, but do have a strong, deep bark that can be intimidating to intruders. They can be aggressive towards other dogs dogs and animals if they feel that their family or territory is being threatened. For this reason, they're not good around cats or small pets unless they've been raised with them from an early age. Family Life He is a devoted companion and friend to the whole family. These hounds are faithful to their owners, though not always fawning in their attention. They are intelligent, sensitive, and adaptable, but somewhat independent in nature. Their dignity and aloofness makes them unsuitable for a obedience training. Sometimes they can be stubborn or strong-willed, but never vicious or aggressive. They're good with children and elderly people too, and are very tolerant of other dogs and animals. They'll make good watchdogs as they will bark if someone approaches the house. This breed needs an owner with gentle leadership that will treat them with respect and kindness. These dogs can get very close to their owners, being very sensitive to moods of people around them, including the moods of of other pets in the household and the family in general. Children Compatibility Irish wolfhounds are gentle giants by nature. They love people and especially love children. They typically have very even temperaments and tend to be easygoing and relaxed around people. They're very patient with children and do well in homes where there are young ones running around. One of the most important considerations parents should make when getting a new pet is size. This becomes even more important when there are children in the home. Irish wolfhounds are exceptionally large dogs. Because of this, extra care must be taken when introducing your pet to your young children. You don't want them to inadvertently injure themselves or hurt their new friends. Owning an Irish wolfhound dog. This wolfhound is a very special breed. If you're considering this breed as a family pet, please make sure you have done your research. We love the Irish wolfhound breed, but they're not right for everyone. Everyone. If you've never had this one before, please don't be swayed by their gorgeous appearance alone. You'll be making a mistake if you do. From afar, they are large dogs, but they need room to roam and exercise. They can live indoors or outdoors, provided that they get the proper amount of exercise needed for the breed. The Irish Wolfhound is a kind, gentle giant and rarely displays any signs of aggression towards other dogs or animals. However, However, due to their size and strength, great care should be taken around smaller pets, such as rabbits or guinea pigs. Before we go, do make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any dog-related content from us. That's all folks on today's show. Goodbye for now.